Hey everybody, welcome back to science. Today we're going to continue with lesson 2.4, which is our fourth lesson in chapter two. So we're moving along pretty uh, well here in chapter two, getting close to the end. So before we start, just want to remind you, this lesson is going to be especially important that you are grabbing a pencil. I would highly suggest pencil today because some of the stuff we're working on you might need to erase. So a pencil and a piece of paper is going to be really important. If you don't have a pencil and you have some other writing utensil, that will work well. Um, but there are some things that we're going to be doing today that you might be needing to go back and revise some of your thinking. So I know for me personally, if I do it in pen and I have to cross it out on my paper, uh, it feels a little bit frustrating for me. So just make sure you're grabbing a pencil and a piece of paper. We're going to be jumping into today's lesson and one of the reasons that you are going to need to have that piece of paper and a pencil is we're gonna be drawing out some timelines. So I'm gonna show you how we can draw this timeline out together. If you do have access to Amplify and you can log into lesson 2.4, there is a digital version of this where you can drag and drop some of the icons. So if you have that at home, that could be another way that you could do it. But if you're unsure of how to do that, I uh, just want to ask you to grab that pencil and paper right now, and then we'll go ahead and start to draw out our timeline together. So pause the video now, grab your supplies that you're going to need, and we'll meet back up in a few moments. All right, so as you notice, we have a timeline. You may have seen a timeline before in uh, social studies or a history class. Um, timelines are also really similar to number lines, which we use a lot in math. So if you are drawing this out at home, I'm going to kind of draw this out so that you can draw on your paper. I'm just going to kind of uh, draw over some of the pieces of the timeline here. So start on the left of your piece of paper and just draw a line. You're going to notice my line is not going to be perfectly straight, um, but Try and draw that line as straight as you can. And there's gonna be a, a few different things we're gonna label, but I want us to start on the ends so that you can be as organized as possible in labeling your timeline. So on that left side, this is our oldest date that is gonna be on the timeline. Go ahead and start to write out five billion years ago. You could abbreviate that if you want, just make sure you're recognizing that we are talking in terms of billions of years, which is a really, really long period of time. All the way on the right, you're going to write today. So now you've got both of those ends labeled, and then what I like to do anytime I have a number line is I make a little mark in the middle. You're gonna notice that this timeline didn't necessarily have that, my mark is not quite perfect, but that's okay. It will just help you as you're going through to start to label the other blue diamonds on here with the dates that they have listed that will be helpful for us here in a second. And if you're getting behind, don't worry. You can always pause the video and get caught up. The last thing that we're going to want to draw on here um, is we're gonna to wanna to draw these red lines. I am not going to draw them in, uh, red, but I'm again going to draw over them so you can kind of think about where you want yours to be drawn. So I'm gonna start with this one because it's easy. I think it's right in between four and five billion. Got a little arrow there. We've got one that's sort of, well maybe a little bit closer to the four billion then the three billion, there's an arrow. And then one right on the billion years ago. Okay, and now you're gonna notice that there are a lot, a lot of arrows over here. So don't worry about your arrows being perfect, but try to space them out evenly. You're gonna notice that these first two arrows that I'm drawing are pretty darn close together. And then this arrow to finish off is also pretty close together. And then visually, if I'm thinking about it, this one looks about halfway in between 1 billion and today. So go ahead and draw that in. Okay, 
Now, now that we've done all this drawing, I just want you to pause the video if you're a little bit behind because I'm going to clear off these annotations because uh, it's a little bit tricky to tell what's going on with our timeline the way that I've highlighted it. But that way you can see what exactly you do need to draw on your timeline at home. So go ahead and pause the video now if you need a little bit more time to complete that. And then I'm going to be talking about what our next steps will be. So now that you've got your timeline built, you're going to notice that there are seven important events in Earth's evolutionary history listed here at the bottom. And for a warm up, we're going to practice kind of thinking about how we would sort something on a timeline. And I'm going to suggest that the strategy you use is either start at the oldest part of your timeline and work to the newest, or start with the newest and search for some things that get older and older and put those um, in the correct order. So to show you sort of what I'm thinking about here is if I were to be thinking about, okay, I have something that's between five and four billion years ago. Well, I know that that number is going to be smaller than five billion, but it's going to be greater than four billion. So if I start to look down here, I can skip over any of these that say million because I know those aren't going to be what I'm going to be putting on the timeline for this missing piece right here. Notice there's one that says a billion. Here's another one that says a billion. So in thinking about those two, the first living thing says 3.6 billion and the other one, the formation of Earth, happened 4.6 billion years ago. So I'm going to go ahead and re recognize that the formation of Earth is that one that's going to go into that box uh, right there. And we'll make the color just a little bit darker so that you can see that. So that's what you're going to do for the rest of these six boxes. You should have your arrows already drawn. So go ahead and pause the video so that you can think through where each of these other ones are going to go that we did not label. And I misspoke earlier, I said there's seven total. Um, I did one of eight, so you have seven more that you're gonna wanna sort. So once you've got those seven heroes with the event that happened during that time, go ahead and restart the video. But for now, pause and get this warm up finished up. All right, so what you just looked at was the uh, evolutionary history of Earth. So some of the times in history classes, um, you may have looked at some timelines that show like 100 years. This one's pretty crazy because evolutionary history, which is what we're studying in this unit, is something that happens over a very, very long period of time that spans the history of the Earth from the creation of the Earth, which is 4.6 billion years ago, um, and continues through the first pieces of cellular life to present day, where we are living. So just to kind of take a look at, hopefully this is what your warm up ended up looking like, you can see it's pretty crazy. The Earth has been around for a really, really long time, and evolution has been creating all sorts of different unique organisms that live on our planet um, starting around 3.6 billion years ago with the first living things, uh, but then creating some multicellular life, which would be kind of what we consider today as things that we can see are small animals. And then moving into, you can notice humans have only been around for about 100,000 years. So in this huge history of Earth, we haven't really even taken up very many at a time, which to me is, is always mind-blowing to see this. So this is our evolutionary history, and we're going to be continuing today to make another timeline based on some slides. So be ready to, uh, on your piece of paper, draw out another timeline here, because uh, that's what we're going to be moving into next. Uh, luckily, uh, this timeline has a little bit less going on. So everything in blue down here is what you're going to want to copy onto your piece of paper. 
just like in our timeline that we warmed up with, things that were the longest are going to be on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, you're going to want to label that as the shortest period of time. So you look at some major events in Earth's evolutionary history for your warm up. The next piece in this activity, what we're going to do is there's going to be a few different um, pieces of evolution that are a little bit more specific than those ones in the warm up. And you're going to be organizing them all along this timeline right here. So, going to kind of show you what you're going to want to think through as you go through these. This is the first card. So, the first card says that um, we've got the first living things, earliest mammals, and then there's some other information on here. So for each of these cards, you're gonna to wanna to pause the video for each time you see one, and I will click through them here in a moment. And when you do that, you're gonna to wanna to, uh, first read through the card, okay? Some of the cards are gonna have more text. Some of them are going to have more text features or pictures. Both are gonna be important in helping you to start to think about which of these changes would have taken the longest or the shortest period of time. We'll talk more about what that means in a second as we go through these instructions. But the first thing you want to do is you want to start to read through the card. What is the information that it tells us? And then focusing in on specifically what are the evolutionary changes. So if I'm looking at this one, it's talking about from the first living things, which were these tiny cells, um, individual single-celled organisms, to earliest mammals, all the things that had to evolve from here to here, tissues had to develop, nerve cells had to develop, backbones had to develop, limbs with digits. So there's a lot of things that had to change. Those are those evolutionary changes that you should look for on the, the next few cards that you're gonna see. That's your step two. Step three, this is why at the beginning of the lesson I said you might wanna use a pencil because you're gonna to need to think about how long do you think it would take for this change to happen? Do you think this is something that's going to take a shorter um, period of time? Or do you think it's something that's going to take a longer period of time? That's gonna determine where you put it on your timeline that you hopefully just drew out on your piece of paper, right? So if you think that it would have taken a really long time for that change to happen, you're gonna put it closer to the left. If you think it was somewhere in the middle, you can go ahead and put it in the middle. And I'm gonna show you how you're gonna write that in a second, so don't worry. Or if you think it didn't take a lot of time, put it on the shortest. So those are the steps, those will be on each slide. And then this is a huge tip. You spent some time at the beginning of this unit working on that uh, timeline in the warmup. Use that as a support as you go through this. That can be really, really helpful. So. Once we've looked at these, I'm gonna to start to think, we just saw on that warm up that first living things, that happened a long time ago. And I actually um, remember, I think it was about 3.6 billion years. And thinking back, I don't remember the mammals date exactly, but that was pretty far to the uh, left hand, or excuse me, the right hand side of our screen. So I know that that must have taken a long period of time. So, once I think through that piece for myself, I'm going to place it somewhere on my timeline. So I'm thinking personally that that's something that would have taken a reasonably long period of time. So I'm going to go ahead and start and put it here. Remember, if you end up going through and looking at some other cards and you think that maybe another one was older, you're going to put it over here. So as you go through this, this is an example of what your end timeline might look like. So I read card one, I put card one on there. You just need to write card one. Then as I go through, I'm going to sort out where those other cards might go. We did one card together and place that on the timeline. These right here really want to be clear. This is an example only just to show you that as you go through, you might find some cards that you think are older than card one, and then you might find some that you think took a shorter amount of time. And so you're gonna place those to the left, closer to where we have this shortest period of time. You may also see some cards 
be on the lookout for this um, because this is sort of a third option. Something could ta have taken longer, could have been shorter, but also you may see a card or multiple cards that you think took the same amount of time. So I kind of tried to show how you would do that here. If you would think card three and five, that arrow is just pointing to the same spot. You've got one below your timeline and one above. So I'm gonna continue to click through these cards. You're gonna wanna pause on each individual one of these and think through these instructions right here, okay? Think through these instructions. As you are reading through the card, pause the video, place it where you would on your timeline, and then we're going to be moving on to our second video, which is going to be looking at uh, simulation. So take your time. These have some pretty interesting changes that took place over evolutionary, uh, over our evolutionary history. So be thinking about putting those onto your slides. I'm gonna go ahead and click through those cards now. Just make sure on each card you are pausing the video reading through the instructions and thinking through these three steps.